Welcome to mctrlbp.com. Today we are going to introduce you this LED display video controller VX6S from NOAA Stock. The maximum loading capacity of this machine is 3 million and 900,000 pixels. It's mainly used for the rental market. Okay, let's start from the front panel. Here is the on and off power button and a TFT display. And this is the knob for controlling the main menu and a back key here. In the center, there are four shortcut buttons to help getting to the main, the window setting fast. Also, in the USB playback mode, you could use it to play the video or pause the video or play previous or stop the current video. It also has the skill button for auto fit function. On the left of the machine, it has some of the shortcut button for the signal input. And you could use them to switch the signal for the LED screen very easily. Come to the function buttons. The tape buttons can help you to switch the PVW to PGM seaming list. And the FN button is for the custom function button. And last, there are two USB ports for connection to the laptop. And now, let's take a look at the main menu. You could use this device to adjust the brightness of LED screen. Screen settings. Quick configuration. Just input the number of the panels on the row and the numbers of the panels on the column and the total numbers of the panels being controlled by port 1 and choose the, the way of the signal travels. Back to the main menu. You could use the machine to load configuration files to the LED display and save the configuration file to the receiving card. And if your LED screen is in a complicated com configuration, use this advanced configuration. Back to the main menu. With this machine, your LED screen can open three windows and set up the window setting here. Input settings. And display control. This machine allow at least 10 preset settings. You could create and save, save it as template for the event coming.
in the and is the port image mosaic. A look at the real panel of this machine. In this section, it has six Ethernet output going into the LED display and one DVI output for monitor. And in the center, it has two DVI input and another DVI port for loop output and two HDMI input. In this area, it has two USB port to accept the USB flash input and, S and two SDI input. In the very left corner, there are three ports for the signal of control. Two of them are USB ports and one is Ethernet port.